guys, so I'm going to show you how you can sew my willow bra pattern. So there is a few different ways to sew it. This is just one of the variations. This is the classic style. Um, it's basically just a simple soft cut bra. I'm going to be doing two videos. So one where I'm sewing all these pattern pieces together. That's this video. You're in the right place if that's what you want. However, if you are looking for applying all your elastic, so your band elastic, fold over elastic at the top, and of course your strap elastic, um, head on over to my other video. I will link it in the comments down below for you if that is what you are looking for so okay so I've just cut out all my pattern pieces as per the instructions nothing complicated at all so I've just got a jersey main fabric which is this lovely unicorn print here and a stretch mesh lining for each pattern piece that I've cut out so nice and simple so before I start sewing what I like to do is lay everything out and this curly fabric is a little bit annoying but it's so pretty we will persevere. Um, so I like to lay everything out with its lining in the correct order just to make sure that I've got everything because often with a printed fabric like this where the print is quite spread out I like to cut out all the pieces individually and um, rather than just putting them on the fold and things like that just to make the most of the print. So I like to make sure that I do have a left boob and a right boob and I haven't just cut out two left boobs which happens probably more than you would think um so I've got all my pattern pieces so I'm gonna start sewing so first off what I'm gonna do is just shift all this out the way I'm gonna take my two center front pattern pieces so I've got the main fabric here and the lining so I'm gonna start with the main fabric and I'm just gonna place them right sides together like this matching that center front seam like this there we go Oh, I'm putting seams together so fiddly. There we go. And then I've got my lining and I'm placing these right sides together. Just the same as your main fabric. And this is a little bit invisible. So I'm going to try and explain a bit more what I'm doing than kind of just show you. So yes, right sides together. I've got my stretch mesh right sides together in two little piles like this. Now I'm going to take this and put it on top of this. So my lining is now on top of the main fabric. There we are. And I've matched that center front seam. And I'm just going to pin this all in place, like so. Now I like to use a lot of pins to make sure it is not going to like wriggle around. You've got four layers of fabric here, two of which are a mesh, stretch mesh um, fabric, which like to wriggle and roll. So there we are, lots of pins like that. So we've got our two main fabrics right sides together followed by our two lining fabrics right sides together and then obviously that is to the back of this fabric. The back of the lining to the back of that fabric. So you've just basically formed a pile. So now I'm going to sew the centre front seam and it's a centimetre seam. So that's three eighths of an inch to anyone who works in inches. Um, and the reason that the seam allowance is a centimetre and not half a centimetre as is probably a bit more normal with your sort of standard bra patterns. Um, it's just to make it easier so we can grade the seam, make it less bulky, just giving you a bit more to work with. Um, I find it just makes things a little bit easier but that might just be a personal preference. But anyway so there's a one centimetre seam allowance on this pattern so I'm just going to sew the centre front seam with a one centimetre seam allowance. I've got my machine on a straight stitch. It's not a very small stitch but it's also not very long obviously you don't want it to sort of come apart but too close together and you're going to end up it's going to get a bit stretched out if your stitches are too close together so i'm taking my pins out as i said we don't want any holes broken pins broken needles and that matter going on at all so there we are don't forget to back tack at the start and the end of that seam and so now that is what we've created. Very simple. So now I'm just going to grade the centre front seam. So what that basically means is I'm going to cut the layers of the seam allowance to a different length. This is just so it's not so bulky when we press the seam and you don't get sort of an extra bulge in your bra that you don't want. So I'm going to cut the two stretch mesh linings because it's a very thin fabric. I'm just going to cut the two lining pieces the same length and you want to cut those quite short. Your lining pattern pieces you want to be the shortest. So the next I've got the first of my fabric layers. I'm just going to cut that slightly longer. doesn't have to be very dramatic but just so it is longer so you can see it poking out the top. And to make things easier on the back you can 
sort of fold that fabric down out of the way if you can see I've done that so now we've got the last layer and I'm just going to cut that so that's slightly longer again And you can sort of just keep trimming until you're happy. There we go, I think that's good enough. So if you can see, I've got the different layers of my seam. So ba basically, that might have seemed like a bit of a weird way to sew our centre front seam, but what it means now is if we open it out, so I've opened out the front, open out the back, all the seam allowances are nicely hidden at the front, on the inside. There you are. Not on the front, not on the back, they're nicely tucked away in between these two layers here. So now I'm just going to quickly press this centre front seam. I like to press things as I go along, just makes things nice and neat and saves time trying to do it later when all the elastic's in as well. So there we are, I've just pressed that centre front seam. You can see it's lying nice and flat there. I haven't pressed the back because this is stretch mesh. Do test press your fabrics before you do it on your main bra, especially if you're using lace because you don't want to melt your iron to your work because that is just annoying. Right, okay, so now what we're going to do is get this side seam, uh, side seam, this side front pattern piece attached to the front. So what I'm going to do is take my side front pattern piece and place that right sides together with this um, center front piece. What you do want to do um, is keep the, these edges together of this bust seam here. So this is going to be treated as one pattern piece now basically, your center front with its lining. You can pop a couple of pins in if you like, you can base this together um, if you do like. I'm going to just cut a little corner here and not baste it. It's not necessarily very necessary, how it, it does make it slightly easier but you've got to see if you want to spend the time doing it. I know machine stitching things is much quicker however removing machine stitching is a lot more time consuming so again that's up to you. <laughs> okay so I've got my side front pattern piece here and I'm placing that to the right side. I'm just going to kind of loosely put it sort of together because what I'm going to do then is turn it over and place the lining so the right side of the lining to the right side of the lining on the inside of the bra as well of your centre front pattern piece. And I'm just then going to pin this seam and kind of readjust and ease these two seams together. But basically what we've done is sandwich the centre front piece in between the two side front pieces. So like the main fabric and your lining. And you've sandwiched it with all the right sides together essentially. Right side main to right side main and then the right side lining to the right side of the lining. I'm just going to pin and pull and make sure all the bust seams of both the side front pieces and both the centre front pieces lining and main. And so make sure that all the edges are together and there we are so you can see there that all the four edges are at the same point and I've just pinned them all in place. So this is again just so we can conceal that seam inside all your seam allowances will be inside the bra so now I'm just going to sew that again with a one centimeter seam allowance Then don't forget to back tack at the start end of the seam and I'm just going to take those pins out that I put in earlier. Okay so now there we are we've sewn that seam so again I'm going to grade the seam allowance so I'm just going to trim the lining the shortest so I'm just going to trim this all back and so you can see what I'm doing I'm holding it in the most awkward position <laughs> to try and do this. Um, but there we go. I'm just going to trim my threads as well. Keep everything neat. Really, I think it just helps with the satisfaction of a project as well. If it looks like a total mess as you are making it, you're going to feel like it's maybe not working or it's not going to look as good as it probably would 
if you just pressed it as you went along. Sometimes things get a little bit creased as we're working on them. So that's why I like to press as you go. Keep it looking pretty, keep it looking neat. I think it might come from sort of when I'm doing my pattern instructions. I press everything as I go just to keep it looking all nice for the photos. So I think that's where I get that from really. But there we go. Oh. I think these scissors might need a sharpen because they're starting to chew things rather than cut things. Very annoying, but that's the way it goes. Okay, so there we go. You can see what I've done with that seam there. It's all graded nicely. You can see all the different layers. So what I'm also going to do on this seam, because it's curved, I'm going to cut some little triangles out of this curved seam here, just so it sits all nice and flat. So I'm just going to fold it back on itself and then just cut some little wedge shapes every so often. I'm probably just going to do three here because this isn't a very curved seam and you can spread them out quite nicely and they just fly everywhere. <laughs> there we are. So I've cut some little wedges out of this seam here, if you can see. Oh, get in the way of the camera. <laughs> there we go. And I'm hoping that's in focus for you guys, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is turn these two pattern pieces so they're facing out and in the right sort of position, so I've just turned them so the wrong sides are now together, they're all in the right order, and I've got that bust seam sewn. So I'm going to press this seam and because it's a curved seam and you don't want to lose that shape otherwise what's the point in it being there? I'm, I'm just going to press it over a tailor's ham. If you haven't got one you can do it over sort of the curved edge of your ironing board and just give it a little press. Keep it all nice and flat. And there we are, a lovely curved seam and it is so satisfying when this comes together because look how like perfect it fits at the top and the bottom. Use your notches as well, I forgot to mention. Um, I, there is notches on the pattern, I didn't add them to this pattern piece rather stupidly. So instead of um, what I would normally do now is go ahead and do the same on the other side, but I'm just going to show you the next bit because essentially then you just have to repeat it for the other side. So okay, so next I'm going to be sewing the back to the side front pattern piece. Again, if you want to baste the lining and the main fabric here together, that could help you. However, I'm gonna kind of skip that little step and just pin it in place. There we go, like this. Just two little pins, it's quite a short seam, so no need to go overboard with pins. Again, same method as before. So I'm gonna place the right side of the back which is there, that's the right side and the right way up so we don't end up with it the wrong way. And I'm going to paste that to the right side of this side front pattern piece here, matching the side seam again and I'm going to flip the work over and do exactly the same with the lining. So the right side of the lining is to the right side of the lining which is obviously the inside of the bra, it's facing up. And I'm going to just pin this all together, keeping this seam matching nicely. Even the shortest of seams can be a little bit fiddly when you've got four layers you're trying to get into the same place. But when you create such a neat seam, it will be worth it. So it's worth spending just a couple of extra minutes, maybe just lining everything up, putting a load of pins in there, because there is nothing more annoying than having to unpick it when like you've missed a layer or something. That is really annoying. Okay, so I've put a ridiculous amount of pins in that seam and I've caught part of the back in that bit which we don't need. There we go so all four of the layers now are sitting beautifully at that side seam so now I'm going to sew this again one centimeter seam allowance as before. Don't forget to back tack as before as well. It's quite repetitive this bit but doing it this way really does create nice neat inside. You won't find your lining all moving around when you're wearing your bra, which is very nice. And it just looks super neat. <laughs> really slows down sewing when you've put so many pins in, but it's worth it to get it neat. Attack, there we go. Again, grading the seam, just as before. Lining layer, the shortest, 
and because it's stretch mesh I'm just going to cut them to the same length because it won't create a lot of bulk that layer. If you are using a bulky fabric, if maybe you're even using a scuba, you might want to consider doing them all different lengths but for that stretch mesh I can kind of get away with it. Next layer, slightly higher, awkward angle, <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, last layer, the longest. Get my rubbish away and then we are when we open it out. We've got the makings of a bra. So now what we're going to do is basically do the same thing but in the opposite direction. So I'm going to take this side cup and work back this way. There we are. I've just added pins as well um, to the centre back, basically basting the lining to the um, main fabric in a kind of lazy way, but it kind of works. It does say in the instructions to base these pattern pieces together, it just means it's easier to apply your elastic. So now is a good time to test fit your bra. If you do need to take any out the back, um, do take it off equally either side of the centre back seam, just sort of trim this edge, but make sure you remove the same amount off each side so it's not wonky at the back, you don't want that. So there we are. So go ahead and check out my um, next video on how to apply all your elastics.